welcome back to the channel, folks, and thanks for being here, and thanks for your support for my subscribers who comment and have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and share the channel. Okay, enough about that. Today, we are going to go ahead and install a clutch, a pressure plate, and a throwout bearing. Now, I am going to try and get the best angle I can in the engine compartment so you can see the clips on the throwout bearing and what I'm doing. So I will do the best I can on that part, but let's get started and see how this is done. So here's our pressure plate. I got this one from CIP1. I had a new clutch disc on hand already, so I'm gonna use it, it's brand new in the box. But I'm gonna push it out of the way a minute because anytime you get a new pressure plate, it's like buying a new brake rotor. It has that film on it, I guess, so it don't rust. So take some brake clean and let's wipe all the cucka off of it. If it's on there, you can see it. Well, you're not close to it like I am, but you want to get that all wiped off, get it cleaned up. You don't need the clutch slipping on it. And then you'll wonder what's wrong. Okay, that's done. But what we're going to do is move over to the flywheel. You're going to do the same thing that a flywheel, even if it isn't brand new. I have a brand new flywheel. It has a film on it. Even if your clutch, or I'm sorry, even if your flywheel isn't new, you still want to clean it up. So let's spray that off. Make sure you have a nice clean rag. I forget where I got the flywheel from. I can't remember now. Uh, I think CIP1 where I ordered a pressure plate. So, seems to be good quality, looks okay to me. All right, so that's cleaned up. Make sure you have clutch tool on hand. Mine had an auto stick before, so I bought new bolts and new little springy washers. It came in a kit for a pressure plate, so all right. So we're gonna put our flywheel lock on so while I'm torquing the bolts, the motor don't start spinning. These are very cheap to buy and I've used it quite a few times already now. Okay, spin our nut and bolt on there. I'll show you it in a second. Just holding it in place, just so it can't turn on you, that's all. Give it a snug. Okay, and there's what it looks like. So the bolt goes through right on the nut, and that keeps it locked. That keeps it locked from moving on you. So let me see if I can get the camera down a little bit lower. There we go, that's better. Okay, so what we're going to do first, make sure there's no debris or anything weird on your clutch. You can blow it off with air if you need to. This faces out the stem on it. See how one side's flat and the other side has this on it? It's going to face out like that, okay? Take your clutch alignment tool. And put it in there. Okay. Now, what I do for the pressure plate bolts is I use blue Loctite. Now you can do what you want. Some guys use red, which really it's not coming out then, but I prefer the blue for this. So our pressure plate's nice and clean. And we're gonna slip that over it. Okay, and I wasn't thinking in advance, so I'll just put one partially in just to hold it. Well, I'm putting Loctite on the other bolts. Come on, get up there. 
then I can pull that one back out and do the Loctite thing. Okay, don't forget to use, where are we at? There we are, your wavy washers. Like I said, I bought the kit. I forget where, to be honest with you. New pressure plate bolts because this was a semi stick. So, all right, a little bit of Loctite, a wavy washer. There we go. And get your bolt started. Come on. I got to do it with my right hand. I was trying not to block the camera. Okay. I'm going to speed up the film just while I'm putting the bolts in. So you don't have to sit there and watch. Okay, so make sure that clutch plate is centered, which it is. I'm gonna spin them on first with my quarter inch ratchet. Wait, I know what we're gonna do. There we go. Now these are gonna be set at 18 foot pound. Look up your own torque, that's just what's for mine, okay? But you wanna crisscross when you're tightening these up. I'm gonna use my gun just to snug them, but don't go crazy. have our torque wrench. It is set to 18 foot pound. We have our flywheel lock on so it don't turn and the clutch is centered. Can't see that one. There it is. Remember do a crisscross pattern. I'm not making it click yet. I'm just Snugging. Oh, that one clicked though. That one already did. Let's get that out of my way now that that's set. Doesn't seem like enough foot pounds to me, but I did look it up. Let me check them all one more time. Whatever you do, don't use just any bolts in these. They have to be the right bolt. Okay, I'm going to do something else here. Obviously, you don't have to do this. I'm checking them with my other torque wrench. I just want to see... Yep, spot on. Okay. All right. So that's centered. Don't forget to remove your flywheel lock. And everything is snugged up. Blue lock, tight or red, your choice. I use blue. Wavy washers and bolts. So now we're going to do the throughout bearing. Okay. So I had an oops. I got the camera down inside the engine compartment. And unfortunately, I didn't hit the record button. Okay, let me take you down in here and show you something. I put a new collar on this. I'll show you the one on the workbench when I'm done because it had a dimple in it and you want this to slide really smooth when you're this is pretty tight pushing the clutch pedal. 
these clips on here, pretty much all you're doing, I can't get a good light in here, is spreading the clip around to the arm. Here's some pictures. Okay, and that's all you're doing. It's not a big deal. Uh, make sure it's seated right. You'll have a little bit of play, and that's it. Sorry about that. I thought it was recording. That was a boo-boo I haven't done in a long time, but that's basically it. Your spring's faced up, as you can see in the photos, and I'll show you why I did the collar. And I don't know how well you can see this, but there's like, it's crummy here. See that dimple right here going around it? It wasn't letting the throat bearing go smoothly in and out on it. So I did replace that. That was like $5. It wasn't a big deal. Three nuts on there, easy to change. So you might want to do that. Okay, so that's your clutch pressure plate and your throat bearing. Uh, sorry about the throat bearing episode. I thought I hit record. I must not have. So I talked for 15, 20 minutes for no reason. Uh, anyhow, thanks for being here. As you can see, we're ready to go in. So I'll be putting this in uh, in a couple days here. I got a couple small things to do. And before you know it, we'll be taking some test drives. We're almost there. Stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Share the channel. And thanks for being here.